was a high school player that you looked up to when you were growing up in Fort Dodge or Iowa Falls? I mean, I was lucky to be around my dad's teams. My dad coached for a long time, and I was uh, I started really getting into it. I was eight or nine years old, and there's a guy, Mike Lynch, um, who was one of my dad's best players at that time, one of the first teams I was involved with. So to me, that guy was like like the best player I'd ever seen. And, uh, he actually works with my sister, works, so I've gotten in touch with him again later in life. But uh, I was, it was cool to be able to be around all those teams as a kid and just be around a team like that. Well, when I was in junior high, uh, we had a real good team uh, nearby Calumet. And Delmer Dow was a tremendous player. And he was on that team. And I remember listening to a game, state tournament game, that I was in St. Mary's and uh, Kelly Met played, and Dave Maher and, uh, played for uh, Iowa City. And for some reason that game really stuck in my mind. Those two guys were my heroes. Then when I went to Iowa, Dave Maher played on the alumni team when uh, they would play against freshmen. We couldn't play in the varsity then. And uh, so it kind of came full circle. He was one of my heroes, and then I got to play against him, and I kind of joked with him that um, after playing against him, I wasn't sure I belonged at a guard because he was really good and uh, he showed me up as a freshman. Growing up, you know, and going to all the Hawkeye stuff and games going and, and everything, it was probably Jeff Warner, Dean Oliver, a lot of those guys, you know, Glenn Worley, you know, getting to see all those guys play at a high level, come to the state tournament, win a state title, that was always something that, you know, was really special to me and made me want to grow up and be something like them and uh, always pushed me to get a little better and everything and, you know, fortunately we had the opportunity to do so. Person I looked up to the most was John Baskey. He was six, seven years older than me, but was uh, part of a group of kids that came through and really set the standard for what Nesco and what turned into Colo Nesco basketball should be like. Um, they qualified for the first state tournament for this school. And so he was somebody that I tried to emulate myself as both on the court and off the court um, and, and tried to drive myself to be as good as he was. And, the standards he set and the goals that he reached were something that I wanted to do as well and lucky enough in my career I was able to make that. Who was a coach you looked up to or inspired you or mentored you when you first got into coaching here in Iowa? Um, we spent a summer up at Buzz Levesque's camp up at Warburg, uh, up at Moore College and uh, uh, he was such a cool guy and he treated all of his coaches really well and, and the kids could socialize with him so I would say, uh, I would say Buzz. Back in 1966 after I played a year at Ellsworth I went to St. Ambrose and I played on Leo Kilfoy's first team at St. Ambrose. And he was more of a father than a coach to me. I mean, I guess I was uh, a smart kid from New York, or not as smart as I thought I was. And Coach Kilfoy really guided me through the education part of St. Ambrose, was very instrumental in helping me get a double major with PE and English, and uh, made me realize that there's so much more than just the X's and O's of basketball. And, uh, I, I tried to use what he did for me as a, as a coach with a lot of my players, you know, it's a lot more about relationships and uh, just by far the most influential, influential coach I've ever had. Basketball wise, I'd say uh, Eric Lloyd, I mean, I was 6th, 7th grade when uh, um, he was out there scoring a lot of points and I remember one game scored 40 and he was 7th grade then. Uh, it was just kind of cool, you know, the whole place was uh, cheering for him. Yeah, it was just, just a cool experience seeing that and just kind of looked up to that. The player I really looked up to, he was also, uh, I was fortunate to play with, play with him, was uh, Kyle Galloway. Um, he was two years ahead of me in school and uh, I just always admired his work ethic and I always, always tried to, you know, anytime I could get in the gym with him, I did. And, you know, he always pushed me to become a better player when I was younger and I was just fortunate enough to be a teammate of his and, uh, you know, so. Always growing up, um, I look for people just with the right work ethic. Obviously, the talent was there, but um, so Kyle Galloway was really the guy I kind of looked to that I modeled myself towards because he was older than me and he was going to become a big one basketball. So I always tried to, you know, watch him and pick things up from him, and he was also a very good friend of mine. So it was special to play with him, but also kind of yep. be my role model. There were a lot. I remember coming to the state tournament uh, just about every year, and uh, you know, form formative years. Uh, certainly Jess Settles uh, is one that comes to mind. Uh, Fred Hoiberg, Rafe LaFrance, some of the uh, some of the great ones.